Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you a simple way how you can use free agent. So let's start. The first thing you want to do is when you're gonna log in and create an account, you need to confirm your business type. Just choose for Universal or from the US or UK, just choose the company that you're going to use. I'm going with the Universal. Then I can add the company registration name, the business address here, down, outside, okay country Slovakia, business name Marcus Stone, save and continue. You need to also choose the business category. I'm going with accounting, save and continue. Now you get display formats, short date format that you need to change. If you want to currency, I'm going with the US dollar, time zone, default locale, and millage units, save and continue. Then you're gonna see it here, accounting dates. When did you officially start your business? I will go January 21st. When did your first accounting year end? 31st December of 2021. And what date do you want to keep your books from? Again, you can change it to what you want. Save and continue. Then you're going to see sales tax details. You choose registered if you register it. I'm not, so I'm going with no. If you are, just add here the rates. Then save and continue. Then you're going to see it here. Banking second, set up business checking account, bank name, account number, sort bank code, opening balance can be $5,000. Again, you just add here the bank name and everything and click save and finish. Right now, when you're going to enter, you're going to see the cash flow. Then you're going to see the invoices, estimates, projects, time slips. On the right side, you're going to see banking. Expenses and bills on the left bottom and profit and loss on the bottom right. Now here you're going to see in the top left contacts that you can simply create your new first contact on go to the right, add a new contact. So we are going to create a new contact. I'll just add here the first name, last name, the organization, the email, the billing email, telephone, invoice address, down region and state and then you get like invoice options invoice that have already been created will not be affected by the changes made here default payment terms we can go like with 10 days or set to zero to display due on received on the invoices and then you get a sales tag registration number you can add invoice and estimate language again you can add it create a new account so voila we got when i click on contact I can see my contact, I can click on it, I can activate it, you can mark contact as hidden and it's active right now and let's go further. Then I can go to work and I get to see the estimates, project, time tracking, invoicing and recurring invoices. So let's go here to estimates. In estimates straight away you can just create an estimate, same thing. You can have it as a quote or proposal. Contact, you can change that. Project, we don't have any project, but we are going to create a project. We will get to it. Estimate reference, you can change that. Estimate date, okay. Currency, US dollar. And now you got estimate discount here if you want to. And let's create a new estimate. Right here, you're going to see the draft. Add an item. Details can be walk, unit price can be 50 and create and finish. Nice. I can edit that if I want to. And now what you can do is just save as PDF in top right or send by email or you can delete it or duplicate the estimate or add a new estimate. I can simply send by email. And first I would just need to con like send confirmation email but this is pretty much it, how we can work with estimates. Then you're going to see the projects here. In project, you can simply create the first project. Project name can be free agent project. Status active, currency US dollars, budget can be 50. Hours, hours per day, eight. Normal billing rate can be 10.
and you can have also change the currency change the budget to days on normal billing rate can be per day or per hour and then you're gonna have starting day here and ending day and then just click here create a new project and I got it right here right And you can add invoices to it. You can add new time sleep, expense, milish, everything, right? Then to go further, you can have time tracking and you can start timer. Task can be work. And it's going to be $10 per hour. Create a task. You can add a comment and you can simply start a timer. The new term was successfully created. You can just simply click stop and that's pretty much it. Then you can go to weekly time sheet on the top right. And this is how the time tracking works. To go further, then you're going to see invoicing. I can simply create my first invoice. Again, you can choose the contact, the project. You can have include unbuilt items, include expenses, include estimates. Then you're going to have like invoice reference. Then you can add currency, payment terms. You can invoice the emails. Email this invoice automatically using my default template. These are the basic stuff that you can do. Then you get more options here. Invoice discount, claim contact name, custom payment terms, PR reference. And just click create new invoice. Right here, you can simply add a new invoice item. And you just add it here. And then you can simply send it. Same thing. And then you would see if it's paid or no. Then you can also, the same process is to form recurring profile and recurring invoice. It's the same thing, but it's another normal invoice. It's recurring. Then the next thing is bills. And you can simply create a first bill. Same thing, supplier contract. You just add here the reference, whatever number I have. Total value can be like 100. And I can choose the category. Is this project a bill? Yes. Rebuild. Let's go with a no. Recurring options. And how many times the bill recurs. Like if it's, I don't know, electricity or something. And you can go with a create a finish. And well, I already got it. Then I get to see expenses. And you can again create your first expense and same thing payment or refund you add a category here you get to see total value add a description and is this project at expense it does not recur okay and you can simply create a new new expense pretty simple pretty easy total value can be 50 and description expense Nice. Then the last two things is banking. You can simply click on bank accounts. You can view the bank accounts. You can upload the statement and everything. And then on accountings, you can simply form our reports. And that's pretty much it. When you would go to overview, you can go to top right quick links and you can add a new invoice. New time slip, new expense, new millage, estimate, bill, project, contact, upload the statement. And this is what you can actually do. So, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. If you have any questions, guys, ask me down in the comments. I'm really happy to help you and provide you some guidance. And yeah, have a great day and goodbye. See you.